Hi guys, it's me, Lyric. Um, kind of making a video. I was in a mode today because of all the stuff that's been going on. Um, but before I get into what I have to talk about, I want to say thank you all for your support and you know liking my pictures and commenting and messaging me on Kick. DM me on Twitter, um, Facebook, all of that. Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, as far as what's new, uh, da, 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 da. I should be trying to get some stuff going real soon. Um, think about throwing a party soon. Um, might incorporate like some of my friends' fashions or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure of what all the details are right now, but I will be sure to inform you guys and let you know what's up. So, to get to what's up with Lyric, um, if you follow me on Twitter and on Instagram and you're my friend on Facebook, you, um, you probably saw my tweets, my statuses, and my post about a couple of days ago. Um, well... Yeah, a couple of days ago now. Like two days ago, literally. Um, so, me, myself, I was gay bashed um, by four guys from out of the blue um, walking home from work. And it really, it really did something to me as far as, you know, my thought process and how I looked at people because I'm a very, very enthusiastic person when it comes to people and society. Like I'm a very good people. I'm a big people person and it made me look at people different. Well, some people, not all people, because I know everybody's not the same, but it opened my eyes to how some people really look at those who are different in the world. Um, it bothers me because, you know, this this is like, this is home. It hit me like it was me. And it made me feel some type of way. Um, so, I was walking home. These four guys, you know, attacked me. Um, as you can see, I'm, there's nothing really wrong, wrong with me at all. There's like a bruise here. It's covered by makeup. Um... And I had a scratch over here somewhere on my cheek. But it wasn't nothing really big. Like, if you saw the pictures on my Instagram, you saw that it wasn't nothing just major. Um, I was going to come and I was going to be, you know, at first I felt like if I were to talk about this video, I'd be emotional and I would cry and I would curse and I'd be mad and all of that and have all these things to say. But I really don't. Um... I've had time to think about it, and the more I think about it, and the more I look back on it, and the more it replays in my head, I'm just thankful and grateful that, you know, God was watching over me, and he was there with me enough to let me just have the small bruises and, you know, walk away from it, instead of going through what a lot of people have gone through with being killed for just being who they are. Or being beat to the point of being having to be put in the hospital. Um, but yeah, I really, 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 really am just thankful to be living and breathing and to have survived. Um, to anybody that's gone through a gay bashing, I commend you for, and that has survived, I commend you like for, for continuing to live on. Um... All those out there like me, this is to the androgynous boys, the more femme boys, you know. Um, don't ever stop being yourself. As far as, you know, doing living your life and being who you are, never let anyone, never let anyone deter you or, you know, make you feel as if you're less than anybody in this world just because you choose to be more feminine. That, that has nothing to do with them. Um, to the androgynous guys out there who are in the LGBT community, but you don't 
act on your androgyny because you don't like, you know, you don't want to be looked upon as different and you don't want people to have so much stuff to say about you, don't worry about it. It's not as hard or as awkward as it may seem. Yes, you're going to get the looks and yes, people are going to have their things to say, but it's just like, screw them because at the end of the day, you're you, you have to live your life. When it comes down to judgment day, you're the one that's going to have to answer for your life and what you did with it. And like, you don't have every, every day is not promised. So you might as well, you know, enjoy life while you have it. Um, me, myself, I will say, let me start out. Like I didn't accept my androgyny or who I, who I am up until like recently, like, a couple of years it started like a couple of years ago it started for me to start you know even accepting myself but then like as far as you know me doing the stuff that I wanted to do I wanted to try as far as embracing my androgyny like doing my hair and wearing makeup I started that last year and I'm not gonna lie to you like last year during the summer I am going to be honest and say that at first it's awkward it's really like, at first you're like, okay, so people are gonna stare at me, okay, whatever, but it's like, you never know until you actually do it, and they literally stare at you like you're some circus clown or an animal at the zoo or something, like, it's weird and it's rude, but at the same time, you have to be strong and you have to be tough-skinned, like, thick skinned to where it doesn't bother you. You can't let it bother you at all. Because if you do, you'll be right back where you started. And that's not a good look. And it's not a good place to be. Um, after the whole awkward situation with people looking at you, people are going to have things to say, you know, all of that. Or whatever. Um, but, you know, that comes with the territory. You know, people, when they see stuff that's different, they definitely, you know, get scared or they feel some type of way. Um... Sometimes, though, it's, it's real cool because a lot of people don't care. They're just like, whatever. It's the same person. He's just, just dressed in a certain type of way or he's acting on whatever. He's being himself. Um, For, you know, like I said, us androgynous guys, because I don't know what it's like for women, but like us androgynous guys, it's like, I'd say... The most part, for the most part, straight women to be okay. You know, I love all heterosexual females, except for the ones who have, you know, bad things to say about it. But it's like, most, for the most part, heterosexual females aren't even the ones who give you the most problems. Because, for one, most heterosexual females are attracted to gay males, and especially feminine males. Like, they they like the fact that you can be so, you know, you know, like, so close to them as a friend, but you're a guy. And it's not, like, as catty or whatever. You're, like, cool or whatever. Um, heterosexual males? I'm not too keen on being around heterosexual males. It's like, I have heterosexual friends, like, guys who are cool with me and they know what's up and, like, they don't have a problem hanging with me on an everyday basis. And then I have some who, you know, are cool. They're okay. But as far as just hanging and chilling all the time or being around each other, that's not going to happen. Um, but most, for the most part, heterosexual males have the worst um, time accepting things that are different. And it's more so in the African-American community. Um... And with our community, it's like, you know, we, we want so much for each other, for us to come up and rise as a race or as a people, but we're the main ones. And I say we because I'm African-American and oh, I'm mixed, but it's like, you know, African-American is inside of me. It's a part of me. And it's like, us as a people, we we're the first ones to judge or to talk down you know, on our own kind or our own race. And it's it's crazy because we, we sit up here and we wonder why other races and people of the, like, the rest of the world are doing so much better than we are. And as a minority, we should want to stick together. But at the end of the day, what's really happening is we're putting each other down and we're being the downfall of, you know, what's going on. Um, 
with that being said, it's just, you know, whatever your ethnicity, your race or whatever, if your community is like, like if it's the same, then you can relate. Um, it's just, for me, it bothers me because it's, it shouldn't be such a big deal. And for those of you who are, you know, androgynous, especially the feminine guys who aren't like, for the most part, a lot of times, you know, it's not androgyny. It's just like, you know, you're feminine and you can't do anything about it. Or you can, but you like, you really want to just be yourself. Like, for the most part, when it comes to that and you being yourself, you know, you have those people who just don't know how to shut the fuck up and keep their opinions and their, and their feelings to themselves. And you're going to have those people who, you know, piss you off or make you feel a certain type of way. But I'm going to tell you, like, my granny told me, um... She always raised me and my sister to kill people with kindness. And for me, just like with the whole situation that happened with me getting bashed or whatever, and like on a regular basis, on a daily basis, people look and people have their things to say and people spread rumors and all of this. Instead of retaliating sometimes, try just, you know, letting it go, not saying a word, smiling, praying for them at night and continuing on with your life. Because... At the end of the day, you know, if you stress about it and you let it get to you, that's what they want. And so you've you've given them a reason to laugh and smile and continue to do it again. If you say nothing and you move on with your life, it's like a waste of their time and they'll realize it. And if they don't and they continue to do it, oh, well, just, you know, let it go. But I'm not going to lie. It's going to be them times where you be like, shut the fuck up. And that's what it's going to have to take for some people. But I'm advising you, you know, Lyric says, Lyric's lyrics advice is to just kill people with kindness. Another way to um, get to those who, you know, do you wrong as far as, you know, just because you're being who you are, kill them with success. Like, if you're in college, graduate. And with honors, like, have your grades up. If you're working and, you know, somebody at your workplace... Do your job well, get a promotion, become their boss, you know? It's just like, you know, do everything you can and focus on yourself. Do not let anybody ever deter you from being who you are because God made you this way. God made you exactly how he saw fit for you to be. Um, And if there's anything that you need to change later on in life or in your life period, there will be a time when he lets you know. So... Live your life, have fun, you know, be her, be who you are, always be you. Don't let anybody ever tell you that, you know, you're ugly or you're stupid or all of this stuff. And it, and it make you feel a certain type of way to the point where you, you go into society's, let me, hold on. You go into society's, you know, stereotypes, like, just don't. Be who you are, be an original, be an individual individual <laughs> but yeah um that's all i really had to say i wanted to speak out and you know touch bases on things as far as the androgynous guys or feminine guys go because if it were to happen to you i would want you to be able to you know continue to live and not let it get to you because it it can really go wrong but that's really all i had to say i wanted to come talk to you guys i love you so much um, thanks for the support. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, or you want to talk to me about it, email me, kick me, Twitter, um, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, you know, get my information there. But that's about it. I will talk to you guys later. Love you so much. Ah, lyric. Out. Bye, guys.